wondered what a breeder does to the pigs before 4 H's come to pick it up? We did. Hi, my name is Sophie Nash. I am 10 years old and I am a member of the Shoe Fly 4 H Club. This is my second year in Swine 4 H, and my leaders are Heidi Nash and Brad Dines. I got interested in baby pig management when I found out what farrowing was. Then I found out there's a whole process, and I thought this information would be useful if I ever wanted to breed pigs. Hi, my name is Juliet Larsley. I am nine years old. This is my first year in Swine 4-H. I am a member of the Shoe Fly 4-H Club. And, and my leaders are Heidi Nash and, and Brad Dines. I chose baby pig management because when I because when I went to go see to go get my pig, the fair, the breeder showed me a farrowing chart. He also told me that there's more than baby pig there's more than farrowing, there's also processing. That's how I came up with baby pig management. Farrowing. It's very important to be present while a sow is giving birth to her piglets. Because if you're not, it's most likely for the sow to lay on her pigs or possibly eat them. And you need to keep a sow in a farrowing crate, which is this. And the farrowing crate is a small contained area so the, the sow can't eat or lay on her piglets. And the crate sh should be cleaned and disinfected. Because if it's not cleaned and disinfected, the sow before it may have a disease. And if it's not cleaned, that sow may get and her piglets may get that same disease. And you need to have heat lamps along the back and side of the sow because it, it keeps her warm and while she's having her piglets, they'll be warm too. Processing piglets. In baby pig management, this is what we will cover. We will, we will, most of this will be done within 24 hours after birth. We will cover weighing, nibble cord care, clipping needle teeth, iron injections, <coughs> tail docking, ear notching, and castration. Failing record. It, well, while it's important to record after the piglets are born, what, what, their weight, their date of birth, litter number, and vaccinations. Naval cord care. The naval cord breaks as soon as it comes, as soon as the piglet comes out of the birth canal. To prevent infections, you will, you will treat it with iodine. If the, if the cord is long and needs to be trimmed, cut it with Blunt cutters, or blunt cutters are like side cutters. If you use something too sharp, like scrapples, it, it will there will be excessive bleeding, and that will hurt the piglet. Needle teeth. You need to clip needle teeth 24 hours after birth because it is less stressful for the piglet. And you don't want to cut the gum or tongue or it could lead to infection. And the piglets have eight needle teeth, four on top and four on bottom. And some breeders choose to let the runt piglet have, uh, uh, keep its needle teeth to defend it too. So it has a more likely chance to survive and so it can defend itself from the other piglets. To, to clip the piglet's needle teeth, you put your thumb on the crease of the ear and put your index finger finger on the side of the cheek. Preventing anemia. To prevent anemia is when you give the iron injection to the pig piglet. You want to put the iron injection in the neck, not the ham, or else it will leave a stain and it won't be as a, and the meat won't be as advertising to the consumer. Give this give it three days to 
give it three to four days after birth. That, because that is when the low, that's the lowest time they, uh, uh, they have. All pigs are born without iron, except for feral iron. Except for feral pigs, they are they 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 get their iron from wrestling around in the dirt. Ear notching identification. You need to notch ears soon after birth, so it's quicker to recognize what pig it's from. And each pig has a unique ear notch. The right ear says which, uh, which litter it's from, and the left ear says if it's uh, the individual pig itself. And so it could be the third pig from the fourth litter. And this is the most popular identification method. And also at our local fair, uh, all the pigs have tags, but in more bigger commercial operations, they have ear notches because it's permanent, but tags, they could fall out. So that's why you notch the ears. Castration. Castration is when you turn, is when you take a barrel out of a boar. All male pigs that are being raised for meat must be castrated. Um, if you do not castrate them, when you cook the meat, it will it will have a bad odor, and this is called boar odor. Mm. This castration makes pigs more makes pigs less aggressive and more manageable for breeding. You want to do this three three to twenty one days of age because when because you want to give the testicles a chance to descend that way when you castrate it it will, it will be easier to pull out tail docking you need to dock the piglet's tails 24 hours after birth because again it is less stressful for the piglet and this is done to prevent other pigs from chewing on tails. And if they chew on their tails, it could leave an infection. And they usually dock tails in more bigger commercial operations. And also, it can uh, lead to cannibalism, cannibalism if the other piglets chew on their tails. And you need to dock one inch above where a tail or joins body because if you cut it any shorter, it can mess up the way the piglet's nerves function and how its body functions and how the muscle works. This is what we covered in, in baby pig management. You, most of this is done within 24 hours after birth. We covered laying, navel cord care, clipping needle teeth, iron injections, tail docking, ear notching, and castration. Resources. Our resources we used, our resources was our 4-H animal science series, The Incredible Pig, Swine One, our swine resource handbook, and we interviewed breeder Tommy Goodwin. Thank you. Are there any questions? I have a couple. What are scrapples? Scrapples are like scissors, but are you, the question was, what are scrapples? Scrapples are like scissors, but they're much sharper and they're um, and they're used for like animals and such. The question was, what's the difference between a barrel and a bore? A barrel has been castrated 
and a boar has not. And a boar is used for breeding. Are there any more questions? Thank you.